got an interesting email the other day that I think my marketing community might be able to help with. Here's what that email says. Hi Clem, my name is Megan and I found you on TikTok a few months back and was wondering if you could give me some advice about starting out in the industry. I have just finished my diploma in digital media and design. Right now, I'm not really sure where to take my education. I'm interested in a bachelor's in digital innovation, but I'm not sure if I should invest this time into study or try and build my portfolio to get some experience. Do people in the industry care more about education or experience? Any advice on how to build a portfolio with no clients? Looking forward to hearing from you. Now I know my marketing friends are going to be either team education or experience, so let me know what advice you would give to Megan in the comments. Now your first question, do people in the industry care more about your education or your experience? In my experience, they care more about your experience than your education. Going to school to get a degree in any form of digital marketing at this point is almost futile because by the time you graduate, the stuff that you learned the first year is pretty much obsolete. Plus, you can learn about that whole marketing theory like personas and market research and blah, blah, blah. You can learn all of that online for free. Now, how to build a portfolio without any clients? Ask people. Tell them exactly what you want to do and what you want to build your portfolio for. And offer some services for free or at a highly discounted rate. That can be your LinkedIn network if you have one. That can be your family, your friends, your local community, you name it. So a lot of not-for-profits will love to have volunteers on board. You're going to have to put yourself out there in order to get those clients or those people that are wanting that help. But the thing is also, you talk about a digital innovation degree, which does kind of tie in with marketing, but at the same time, I think it's also a little bit more IT. So what is your passion? Is it digital marketing or is it creating digital products that solve a problem for people? That's, I think, the, the debate you need to have with yourself. I hope that helps, and thank you so much for thinking of me when you needed that advice. And if you've got any more questions, let me know, Megan. Good luck.